I don't believe this is happening. I don't know, man. It's just like a nightmare or something. I, I mean, I don't believe it. I don't. In today's video, we will discuss the horrific and bizarre story of Kenneth Cunningham Jr., who was murdered on his birthday by his girlfriend's ex-boyfriend. He murdered him because he had begun a relationship with his ex-girlfriend. Donovan Carter, 33, disguised himself as a delivery man and murdered Kenneth at Harlow Apartments near Windy Hill and Cobb Parkway. Before we begin this video, we would like to express our deepest sympathies to the family and friends who were severely affected by this horrible crime. We would also like to send condolences to Kenneth's family and friends. Today's case takes us to Marietta. Marietta is a city located in the state of Georgia. The city has a population of around 60,000 residents. Marietta is situated in the northwestern part of Georgia, approximately 20 miles northwest of downtown Atlanta. The city's historic downtown area is known for its charming square, which features a variety of shops, restaurants, and historic landmarks. I go, go ahead, do it from your chest. Do, just do it from your chest, man. You gotta look cool while I'm doing it. Yeah, I feel you. See you though. What's that look? Oh, if you drop some weight, it's gonna make a very embarrassing sound. <laughs> Come on, man. Push it from your chest. Slow down, man. Slow down. Bring your, uh, bring your uh, arms closer together. You're working your triceps, man. Yeah, your hands, yeah. S slow down, bro. I know you swollen. You. It's nothing. It's too easy. Bro. It's nothing. It's nothing. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna have to up that weight, bro. I guess them 10 pounds on each side, that's that 20. Oh. Kenneth Cunningham II, frequently known as Fat Kenny, was born in Chicago, Illinois on January 3rd, 1984. He attended Hillcrest High School. Kenneth had one married sibling who had a son. He also had a father who, according to social media posts, was devoted to his family. Cunningham had no children of his own, but he enjoyed being an uncle. He relocated to Atlanta in 2006 to pursue music, but it appears that things did not work out, so he returned to Chicago. He went back in March 2020 to pursue his dream of becoming a musician. He was currently employed as an Uber driver as well as a musician. He's been characterized as the sweetest person you'll ever meet. His relatives also stated that he enjoyed entertaining and making people laugh with stories and jokes that impersonated family members, friends, and famous individuals. He was a gifted man with a great sense of humor. He was generous, loving, and giving. He adored children and his nephew. Kenneth appeared to be doing well in 2023. He was working, releasing music, starting a new relationship, and looking forward to 2024. Unfortunately, his family came all the way from Chicago to surprise him on his 40th birthday on January 3rd, 2024. As he was prepared to enjoy the day with his family, he received a notification that someone had arrived to bring a package. However, when he approached him, he saw a man dressed as a delivery driver. When he reached this man, he began shooting at him. He tried to flee, but he was shot ten times and killed as a result. Donovan drove all the way from Gwinnett County to Harlow Apartments in the 2100 block of Cobb Parkway Southeast after learning that his ex-girlfriend had moved and was dating a man named Kenneth Cunningham. He knew it was his birthday, so he pretended to be a delivery driver. He knew he could trick him into thinking he'd gotten a package from a friend or family member, allowing him to kill him for dating his ex-girlfriend. When the police arrived, 
they discovered Cunningham had passed away. In collaboration with various law enforcement agencies, police gathered evidence, including witness accounts and camera footage, and soon identified Carter as the culprit. Carter was arrested in Cobb County and charged with malice murder, murder commission of a felony, aggravated assault, and possession of a firearm during the commission of a crime. Carter informed the magistrate judge during his first appearance hearing Thursday night that he understood the charges filed against him. On Wednesday, and police say he was targeted outside of his Marriott apartment over a woman who he had been seeing. Within the last hour, the woman's ex-boyfriend, 33-year-old Donovan Carter, appeared before a Cobb County Magistrate Court judge to hear the four felony charges against him, including aggravated assault and malice murder. Carter remains in custody tonight without bond. Late tonight, Cunningham's father and aunt in Alpharetta spoke with our John Shearick. We can't comprehend it. They can't believe he is gone. Kenny Cunningham II shot and killed on Wednesday, his 40th birthday. Cunningham's family from Chicago had gathered in Atlanta to surprise him later that day and celebrate him and show him their love for him. His father, Kenneth Cunningham. He was very generous, giving, loved kids, loved his nephew. Kenny Cunningham, an Uber driver for now. His aunt, Daphne Bell, says he lived to entertain, to make people laugh. Once you met Kenneth, you were going to walk away with a funny story because he was just that guy. He was always making you laugh. Anybody that knows Kenny has a funny story about Kenny. Marietta police say the man who shot and killed Cunningham is the jealous ex-boyfriend of the woman Cunningham had just started seeing. None of it makes sense to Cunningham's family. I don't believe this is happening. I don't know, man. It's just like a nightmare or something. I, I mean, I don't believe it. I don't. Tears of sorrow for the man who loved to make people laugh. In Alpharetta, John Shearick, 11 Alive News. A terrible story, Tim. Yeah. It's coming, Lord. Yeah. It's coming, Lord. It's Kenneth had only his loving father, sister, and other family members. He will be remembered for his love of music and making jokes. He just started a new relationship and a few months in, an insane, obsessed ex-boyfriend decided to take his life, leaving his family, friends, and community shocked and distraught. If you would like to stay updated with this type of content, please don't forget to like and subscribe. See you on the following video.